this is Chris from Shuffling. Uh, yo, 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 and this is Felix, and together we want to present you today a few Android TV boxes here. So we thought that you know to today we will make like a, a review together just to make it more entertaining for you guys. So we have today three TV box uh, and branded and um uh, First of all, Felix, can you tell me what is an Android TV box? So uh, basically, uh, with the Android TV box, you are able to transform any TV into a smart TV. It's a multimedia player with Android system, like a lot of smartphones and tablets, and you can stream videos online, surf the internet, and show your content to your friends and family. Uh, right away on your television is. So if you just bought a flat screen, you can easily pimp it with a small TV box and you have a smart TV right away. Buddy, can you tell me a little bit more about the common features here? So here we have actually, so as I said before, 300 TV box. So they're all unbranded, uh, but we decided to, to advertise them on our website just because they're as competitive as the most famous brand like, you know, Minix, Muller, or Oxtex, for example, and um, basically uh, the, the common features that we can have inside of this uh, TV box, they all have Android, though it's like different versions, but they all have built-in uh, Wi-Fi, for example, no Bluetooth, however, and, uh, and they can all basically support different type of, of wireless keyboards. So to, to go deeply uh, into the, the specifications and the, and the design of this Android TV box, We'll explain them one by one. So, so Felix, can, can you start with, for example, the, the MX? Well, let's take a closer look at the MX Android TV box. Here, as you can see, we have a dual-core processor and a 4.22 Jelly Bean version. On the back, just some basic advertisement here, nothing special. I would say we have a look, we check out right away what we got inside of the box. There's first here our Android TV box. Then a remote control. We advise everyone um, to get either air mouse or with touchpad or some different control because uh, with these controls they are quite basic and uh, you can use them but sometimes it's not that easy. Then we have here an AC-DC in adapter, this time with American plug. So for all the people who order from Europe, we will support you here with an uh, adapter, which you can just plug on and then put it into your plug and there's no problem. And then we have one HDMI cable. And the user menu, which is in English, so if you have any problems and uh, don't get really along with TV box and need some help. Just uh, send us a quick information, quick email, and we will answer right away. Or just leave a message below this uh, video, and we will come right away back to you. So let's let's have a closer look here at the TV box itself. As you can see here, we have one time one SD card slot. This is for uh, SD cards up to 32 GB. Then in this case, we have one two, three, and another one. So we have uh, in total four USB ports. We have here one SPDF DIF port and an AV port plus a HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and a five volt DC in. On top of it, you will receive a AV cable. So to connect the whole thing, you just plug the AV cable in here and connect it to your television or you can use your HDMI cable and just connect it to your television. That's uh, up to you. I would say that's it so far for my part here. So Chris, tell me, what do you have on your side there? Here on the right we have the DVB-T2 HD18T2. So this is a Android 4.2 uh, TV box. So. We can have a look quickly here on the box to see what's going on. So here we have the full HD uh, 1080p and 3D HDMI, as I said just before. So you can have access to a lot of things like Skype, Facebook, Twitter as well if you want. So also it has a DLNA, the Miracast, AirPlay and the, the remote control. 
on the back here of the box you can see a few advertisements but the best is just to go through the box and see what's going on so so what I'm opening I can say that this Android TV box is actually has uh, Amnogic dual core processor um, 8726MX um, 1.5 gigahertz clocked uh, then we also have 1 gigabyte of RAM 8 gigabytes of RAM and a uh, Mali 400 MP for the the graphic processor and DLNA Miracast Airplay as I said before so here we have the, the remote control so this is a basic remote control so we invite you to, to buy uh, air mouse from Muller or Minix for example because this one for example if you can see you know, doesn't have a proper keyboard so you cannot type right away on the go and doesn't have the, the mouse basically okay so Otherwise, we also have in this Android TV box uh, the AV cable, so Felix explained you already how to do it, to plug to your television. One other item inside of the box is actually an adapter. So this is an EU adapter, but we can provide you with a US and the UK, you just have to, to let us know when you check out on our website. And the last item inside of the box is user manual. So all in English, explaining very well what is going on, every screen, so you will not get lost, don't be worried about anything. And here we go with the Android TV box itself, the most important maybe. So on the side we have here one, micro, uh, one SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes, two USB ports, one Ethernet, the DC in here on the side, the optical, which uh, you can use to um, to connect to your amplifier, for example, sound amplifier. We have the AV to connect to your television, the HDMI as well, if you have a, a television which support HDMI. And the particularity of this Android TV box is actually it has a DTV in and out. So, for example, if you have an old television and you still want to use this, this kind of device, you can, no problem at all. So this is the biggest particularity of this Android TV box. So now we, we will go together through the, the last Android TV box, which is the M8. On top we have here the M8, and personally for me this is definitely the king among these three. We can see here uh, we have, compared to the other ones, a 4.4 KitKat version here. We have, it, it supports 4K, which is also known as Ultra HD, plus it supports uh, 3D HD. And I would say, let's just have a look, a short look inside of the box. We have here on the back just some basic information, just some advertisement kind of about the features. So inside of the box, for sure, the Android TV box itself. Then in this, kind, in this case, we have an adapter with American plug. So if you order from Europe, just let us know and we will provide you with a free uh, EU adapter. Then we have here one HDMI cable. This is to connect the Android TV box to your television. And we have a user manual in English, so feel free if you have any problems to understand something here, just to uh, pop us a message and to send us a message and we will come as soon as possible back to you. And then last but not least, we have here our remote control. So as you can see here, we can type in uh, basic functions, but we suggest for everybody to buy uh, air mouse. Sometimes these air mouses, they come with touch pads here and they make it very convenient and easy to control everything and it's much more fun, definitely. So Chris, can you tell me a little bit more about the M8 itself? Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, uh, the design is a bit different from the other ones too. So it's more research basically for the shape. So let's have a look at the ports that you can find inside um, of this Android TV box. So here we have the SD card uh, slot, which is up to 32 gigabytes. On the other side here we have two USB ports, one HDMI, one Ethernet, one AV, so to plug to your television for example, the optical to use sound amplifier and the DC in, in here, okay? So this is it basically for, for the shape and here you also have a blue light to say it's, it's turned on, okay? So, uh, just to make it uh, 
clear at the end so this Andre TV box why is the king of among all of them you know this is an analogic processor M802 quad core at 2 gigahertz 2 gigabytes of RAM 8 gigabytes of RAM and a Mali 450 MP so this is why you know the performances are better on this Andrew TV box. Okay, let's make a quick comparison between those three and basically for these two Android TV boxes here we have nearly the same hardware specs. We have for both the M-Logic dual-core 8726MX uh, processor clocked at 1.5 giga gigahertz. We have 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of RAM and for both we have a SD card slot which supports uh, SD cards up to 32 GB then in the difference is so far we have on this one here four USB ports compared to this one where we have only two USB ports but this one gives you the opportunity if you have an old television to connect it with a DVBT to your uh, with a DTV in and out to your old television um, one more difference is here that we have on this uh, on the MX we have AirPlay on the Miracast. We have uh, on the sorry the DVB-T2. We have Miracast. The MX supports X, uh, XBMC. On top of it, they both support uh, DLNA and Full HD. So, Chris, tell me a little bit more uh, in comparison to the M8. So, in comparison, the the M8 is obviously the most expensive, but has the the best features on it so this has the android 4.4 uh, so the latest uh, android version which is like the the kitkat version we have a 2 gigahertz quad core processor on it 2 gigabytes of ram and 8 gigabytes of ram and the mali 450 mp4 for, for the graphic processor so this is high 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 specs um, Otherwise, uh, what we can say on this Android TV box that has the UHD 4K decoding and 3D HD on it. Um, otherwise, it also have XBMC for the people who want to use it, and it does have the Miracast to uh, for for the Android t uh, devices, the AirPlay, and the DLNA. So it's all complete for for the M8. Of it, as you can see, they all come together with the Ethernet port here and all have one HDMI port plus they all have one SD card slot for uh, SD cards up to 32 GB. Alright, I would say that's it so far from us with a review of these three awesome Android TV boxes. Um, so, so if you have any questions about these three uh, unbranded TV boxes, so feel free to leave a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So you can see uh, in the description the, the links redirecting you uh, right away to our website if you want to have uh, more explanations about the specifications and if you want to purchase those, those Android TV boxes. And, uh, and otherwise, uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this, this review. And, uh, and see you later for the next one then. If you're interested, just check out our website www.electrofan.com. Alright everybody, stay tuned for the next one because next time we're going to show you a little bit more about the performance and the functions right away on our television. See you again. Bye.